Phoenix market, current trends. Let's talk about why people are moving here in the first place. There's plenty of reasons why people move here. The obvious is, you know, our weather, the golf courses, the restaurants. But more, more recently, if you notice in our Phoenix area, we have a lot of jobs moving to the Phoenix area. It's creating a lot of people coming with with these new companies coming in. I mean, you know about the chip factory. You know, that's that's going on out there. You know, startup companies are coming in like, you know, prop tech and educational tech. Um, a lot of startups and, you know, also in the, even recently, we've had a lot of medical that and biotech that have come in here. So a lot of jobs have been created here. Um, the other reason is, you know, our taxes are really good. I mean, we have good taxes. Now, is that going to change going forward with our home values going up? Possibly. But for right now, Phoenix is, is a well sought after area. And, you know, there's, there's different stats where Phoenix ranks you know, above other countries. I mean, if you want to take, you know, you you look at where people are migrating from, you know, the top three states that people are coming from, from, you know, you got, you got California, Illinois, and New York and Texas. People are flocking to Arizona for the, for the, for these reasons. Yeah, definitely. I think you mentioned that, uh, you know, Taiwan semiconductor. And if you're not in the Phoenix area or you haven't been up to the North Phoenix area, I mean, this is an absolutely massive project. And it's funny, I actually did a little bit of research going into this as well. And it's funny, I guess Arizona actually has the uh, name Silicon Desert, uh, or obviously Silicon Valley in California. Taiwan Semiconductor, they're building a huge facility. And actually, once they uh, finish that, it's, uh, they're going to pump about another $12 billion into, uh, into our economy from now until 2029, which I thought was interesting. Um, it's a company I haven't heard of called NXP. Uh, they're and Chandler, they're putting up a new uh, factory, Samsung Electronics, uh, Intel, uh, LG, Virgin uh, Galactic. They're actually building a manufacturing uh, facility in, in Mesa that I guess is going to send people to outer space, Procter & Gamble, Corning. So a lot of big companies moving to Phoenix. Uh, I think the big difference, and maybe you can touch on that a little bit because you've been in that space a while. I think what a lot of people don't realize is the economy is so much different now in Phoenix and the Phoenix metro area, you know, than it was, uh, let's go just to uh, 2007, kind of we had the big housing uh, buildup and the big housing kind of downfall. You know, at that point, it seemed like Phoenix was really just a construction and tourism based economy, you know, and since then, I mean, it's, it's so much more diverse. So I think the the risk of that happening again is is pretty slim. I agree there. That's a really good point because you know I came from right outside Philadelphia and I always worked at jobs in downtown Philadelphia. And it's like you said, the city was the place to work. You know, you take the subway system down there, it's jam packed. When I first moved out here over 20 years ago, and I went down, I was like, ah, Phoenix, and I go down the city and it was dead. There mm -hmm. was hardly anything down there. Then you build the ballpark, you know, you, you build extra, you know, with, with the expansion out there. Hey, if you're watching this video and you have any real estate questions, I have your back. Send me a text message at 480-498-3334. You saw the college universities, ASU expanded out to the Phoenix area. Uh, U of A expanded out there, Grand Canyon. It's just, it is growing, like you said. And, you know, one point, you know, talk about education, which I was surprised with. Um, I just got this information uh, yesterday preparing for the call. We talk about Arizona State. They actually just won the Innovation of the Year Award for university, and it's now the largest university in the country. And you're talking about that people come to Arizona. The good thing about that with ASU is our Phoenix area was voted number four in the top places for college grads. And why is that? It's mm -hmm. because even though, and Gordon, you know this as an agent, you know, the rent to income is really high in Arizona. Mm -hmm. It's gone up. And we'll get into that later about purchasing and all that stuff. But the reason is those people are staying here once they graduate because of all the job opportunities mm -hmm. once they do graduate here in the Arizona area. Plus, you know, our sunny climate for those college kids works out pretty good too. I think outside of, uh, you know, realistically June, July, and August, the weather here is is fantastic. And I don't want to get too, you know, too far into the weeds, but, you know, Arizona, you know, it's four, three and a half hour, four hour drive down to, 
you know, Rocky Point, Mexico, you can be on the beach, you can, you know, two hours north, a lot of people don't know you're at 7,000 feet and, and pine trees, uh, you know, California is an eight hour drive or a one hour flight away. So I think just the proximity, you know, for the weather here, majority of the year, it's ridiculously awesome. And when it gets, it's like where it's an oven, you, you take off and everything's, you know, compared to a lot of other parts of the country, everything's within reach really, really quick. Even with that weather, there's a reason like we just discussed the more is why Phoenix is the top place in the country for second home. I got a quick story if we have time on that one. My uncle, Ressa mm -hmm. Zoll, had a good business partner that, or friend of his, lived in Pittsburgh, PA. We all know Pittsburgh back there, the weather could be in winter time. And he came out here to Phoenix Open for business. And you know how weather is back in Pittsburgh in January. And he told me this story. It was hilarious when I first moved out here. He says, my buddy was sitting in his hotel room after going to the golf course all day, looked at the weather report in Pittsburgh, and it was like, call the agent. We're putting a house up for sale. I'm going to close a deal out here tomorrow to make sure I can do business out here. And they mm -hmm. moved out here within the next six months. Yeah, no, I think those that story, I mean, your story is really specific. And in 10 years of me doing this, I could probably have, you know, on more than two hands, similar story. You know, people say, oh, I, I want to move to Phoenix. We're going to do it in a year and two years. And they come out here for a visit and long and behold, we, we have them, you know, in a house in the next 30 to 60 days. So anything else uh, on the topic of, of people moving here? It's just a great place. I mean, it's, it's, you know, we talked about the college place. It's a great place for people in their twenties. I had it down here in my notes. It was voted number four for the top place for newlyweds too. I mean, yep. when people are getting married, you know, Gilbert Scottsdale was number four. Gilbert was number 10. Oh, wow. And and you got to think, why are newlyweds moving out here? Mm -hmm. Well, once again, it's not just the weather. It's it's the housing. It's the employment like we talked about. Mm -hmm. It's incomes, access to variety of restaurants, traveling, all that stuff. People are moving here for a reason. I'm an example of it. I grew up in a big Italian family. My whole family lived within a mile and a half of each other back east. Yep. Nobody ever thought I'd move here. And I came out here and now, and I haven't gone back. So, I mean, it's just, once you get here, it's really hard to leave for all those factors. Hey, like every week, I hope you're getting a ton of value out of this video and everything that we share. So please subscribe to our channel here. And then also this video that we put together, I think will have some awesome information that you'll want to check out.